Hello, welcome. Welcome to a video series discussing introductory applied statistics. How exciting. This is an exciting adventure that we're about to embark on. I'm looking forward to having you here and hopefully teaching you something new or something useful. And let's start with what is statistics? Hmm. Well, statistics at its very base is the collection of data, the analysis of data, and then using that analysis to make an informed decision. So what will we be discussing in this video series? Mostly that middle part, analyzing data. Now, often people will say, you know, you can say whatever you want to with statistics, so what's the benefit of it? Or it's difficult to do and I don't understand, so I kind of avoid it. So why do we want to use statistics? So what is the value in it? Well, let's say that I talk to you about a story. The author of the textbook that coincides with these videos talked about how his 97-year-old grandma used to eat bacon cooked in butter almost every day. And she lived to be 97. So anecdotally, you would think, well, if I eat bacon cooked in butter, I will live to be a long time. Well, I have a similar anecdote. My grandma, who will be 98 this year, eats sweets every day. She has to have either a donut or coffee cake or a Bismarck or regular cake or brownies or ice cream, any sweet. She wants to have it every day. And she's 98 years old. So with those anecdotes or those stories, we could say that if you eat unhealthy, you're gonna live longer or live a very long life. Now, you won't wanna make a decision on your health though based on two women and their stories about what they ate, right? We won't wanna negatively impact potentially somebody's health by telling them to eat unhealthy because someone I knew lived a long time eating either bacon cooked in butter or sweets every day. Similarly, I am terrified of squirrels. They are terrifying to me. This one, obviously, I mean, that goes without saying. But the reason that squirrels are terrifying to me is because when I was a child, my neighbor got chased by squirrels. She fell into a garbage can and broke her arm. Now that's an anecdote. I would wanna have more information about squirrels and their habits and whether they're aggressive or not before I were to tell everybody that they should be terrified of squirrels. So the point is that if you have data that can back up these anecdotes that are very interesting, I know, I just told you about them because they're so interesting, it allows us to take the data, which is something that's not that exciting, but backs up a very interesting and exceptional story. So we want data because data helps us to make decisions. Also, it takes uh, subjectivity out of it, right? Like we have agreed upon formulas that are appropriate for this type of data acting this type of way with this number of observations. It is an agreed upon method. So you can have more confidence in it, right? It's difficult to make a decision when you believe that that information is coming from a subjective source. It's helpful to say, this is the best practice. This is the way things are done. This is how it was done. Objectively, this is the answer based on the data. Now there is some subjectivity in statistics because you do have to work to make sure that the methods that you're using or the way that you're collecting data or the way that you're designing a survey, those make sense. And so that does allow you the opportunity to think through things and to make a decision on how to do things subjectively but ultimately, really, we're trying to be objective. We're saying, here's the data, here's my idea based on this data and what the data is telling me, therefore, this is the informed decision that I can make. Now, the challenge, though, is that there is some level in statistics and through data collection that you have some uncertainty. So you collect all this data, you're trying to say, you know, maybe this type of diet will help you to live longer.
but it's uncertain, right? There's a lot of factors that go into play on how long somebody lives. And so with that uncertainty and the fact that it's not a clear black and white outcome, a lot of what statistics is, is trying to measure that uncertainty, right? Trying to account for it. So that's what statistics is. That's the reason we use statistics. Uh, if you are a person in the world, statistics are being used to inform things that happen in your life. Uh, probably the clothes you wear, the car you drive, those went through some measure of quality control. Uh, if you're in school, which you most likely are watching these videos, you have had some statistics used that are deciding if the curriculum that was used to educate you was good or if it needs to be altered. If you have ever uh, taken a medicine, those pills had to go through statistical analysis to make sure that they were safe, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's valuable, it's used, that's what statistics is. So in these video series, or in this video series, we are going to be talking about methods for analyzing data and learning a little bit more about the introduction to applied statistics. And beyond that, if we're talking about statistics and the benefit of it, it also is, do you know what I'm gonna say? Fun. We're gonna have some fun. <laughs>